Hello, my name is Boris Timakov and I will be showing you how to use domains in Jasper Report Server and how it's possible to build a simple JRXML report which will be using a JRS domain as a data source which also name it a semantic data layer. So let's start from the early beginning. Here is our JRS and in JRS I already created a simple domain which contains just only one table and which is built on top of our Foodmart sample DB. So let me show you the details. Indeed. Here we can see that it uses Foodmart. Let's open Domain Designer. In Domain Designer we can see in Display 3 that we're using just only public account table. And this table populates a demo data set. Demo data set contains three fields account ID, account description, and account type. Okay, let's navigate into Jasper Reports Studio. So here's GSS. Let me open the Repository Explorer, then navigate to public, then navigate to samples, then navigate to demo folder, and here we have our domain. Let's build a JRXML, which should be blank A4, name it as demo. I will put it into my reports project folder and go next. Here I want to choose domain JRS. As we can see, interface uh, got changed and we need to choose our data source. First of all, we choose our server. In the main drop down, we see number of available domains. So here is our simple domain. Okay, that's our demo set. We previously seen the demo set at our web UI for domain designer. Here we have our three fields. In this interface we can see that we have domain query fields, which is actually fields, and filters, domain query filters. So let me add fields and show you how it works. So that's it. And we click next. Okay, the fields we plan to use. All of them, of course. Then we click next. We don't need to make a group by. As you can see, use group fields as sort fields. Select an option if you want to aggregate the group value, not only the consecutive ones. Next. Congratulations. Finish. Okay, we see a pretty standard JRXML file, so I plan to remove some of the bands which we don't need. So I will stay just only with title and detail one bands. Delete. Delete. Okay. Uh, let's add something into title, something like static text element. Static text element, we will put, you know, some title. GR XML report, which uses GRS domain. Good. Now let's make it look a little bit fancier. So we will use some standard properties of static text element and most likely increase the font. Okay, that works fine for us. Let's add some fields. So we have fields here. Here we are. Account ID. Uh, 
account type. Okay. In account description. Oops. Okay. Let's take a look at preview. Here we have. So we see that this. GRXML report works fine in GSS. So let me show you how to use filter. For example, we want to filter data which are related just only to account ID which equals to 1000. Let's jump back into design. Let's navigate to our data set. Here we have we have fields and we have filters. What we can put here we can put account ID and put under the filter so it should be equals to and we of course we can see the number of options to design the filter like is greater than is greater than and equal to so I put here a thousand and of course if we want to have a kind of input controls logic we can use it is for prompting and we can generate a parameter which is named account id okay then click okay and then let's go to preview as you can see account id equals 1000 then click and we have data which is related to filtered domain query. Hopefully this video was helpful and thanks a lot.